The message from the top of the hill that separates these two communities is loud and clear. Nearly three decades after an armed standoff, sparked by the village's plans to expand a golf course on top of the Mohawks of Ganesadage Cemetery, the struggle over land rights continues. This is what we have left. That's it out of all this? Yep, that's all. That's all that's left. This time, a new chief is working with Ottawa after a local developer offered to give part of the disputed territory back to the community. But the plan is facing opposition from Oka's mayor. He's afraid that the Mo he's going to be surrounded by Mohawks, which is extremely racist. And the mayor is calling on the federal government to bring him into consultations. I think they're taking a more cautious approach because it's a, it's a highly explosive situation. If you get too involved, it blows. If you don't get involved enough, it blows. I can understand why Ottawa would want to uh, boot this issue uh, into the tall grass beyond the next election. Norman Spector was a key advisor with the Mulroney government during the original Oka crisis, who says there's political gain to be made here for the Liberals. Spector says they have to tread carefully if they want to win this riding over the Bloc Québécois in a province that could play a deciding role come October. It's fair to say that uh, without uh, strong, strong support in Quebec, it's almost unimaginable that Mr. Trudeau could be uh, returned with a uh, majority government. Still, the government insists partisanship is not a factor. This is a process that has been gone, going on for years. Uh, this, this is about getting a relationship right, not about getting people to, to, to vote. Mark Miller is Ottawa's liaison and knows firsthand how complex the situation is. We can talk about legal complexity, but there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, a social, cultural and economic complexity to this. Uh, and layer on top of that levels of government, provincial and federal, which, let's be honest, have, have failed in the past 30 years. I love this land. I hate to see how it's being abused. And the people of Ganesadage say they just want their rights respected. This should be an example of reconciliation, and it's not. And that could tip the balance this fall. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, Gonna Sedonge.